Welcome to Gazroth Tutorials, I'm Gazroth and today we're going to look at the text gizmo and how we can format it and use it for different things such as art and windows. And so first thing is we're going to go into build mode and I have our text gizmo ready for us and I have a script that I've created that I will definitely give away for free. It's kind of like mega text but it has plenty of extra things in it. So there's loads of different formatting options. So one of the assets in the asset library is this text gizmo formatting thing. And it has all the different formattings that are currently in the, the game. We have sprites, you can go subscript, superscript, you can change the character spacing, line height, alignment, uh, the opacity, so if it's see-through or not. You can change the color, make it italic, bold, underline, strike through, you can add line breaks, you can do no parse so you can see the code, you can change the size, you can change the MS space, which is the equal spacing between all the characters, you can highlight, which is the mark, this is how we make windows, you can set it all to uppercase, lowercase, small caps, you can adjust the position of the text. You can adjust the vertical offset of the text. And then there's a whole bunch of different fonts you can use. You can rotate the text. You can add a gradient. There's uh, some other sprites you can use. And then there's different font materials. So not all of these materials work with all the fonts, but they do make things look a little different. So we're gonna go through all of these and then this is just an easy tool to get a hexadecimal number for your uh, your windows or for your highlight. So this just allows you to uh, adjust and get the color you want. And then you, it gives you the mark right here. This is a really handy asset that is in the asset store. Now, how do we format our text with all these different formats? And it's quite simple, you just have to type it in like this, which can get a little exhausting. So I created this script that pretty much adds all the formatting for you and just so that you can kind of get a look at what is going on here. So we're just gonna bring this down just a tad here. I'm gonna turn the gradient on. And what that does is it adds a gradient from the top to the bottom. It's a vertical gradient, horizontal gradients. I don't know if they do work, but I was not able to get them to work. And if you don't like the color, you can go down to color and you can adjust the color. So if we wanted green, and then it'll change the color for you. And just, just to show you what the code looks like, we're gonna turn on no parse. And here you have, let's move it back a little bit and turn off our vertical offset. And we have gradient equals yellow to orange dash vertical and you notice she has these uh, open and close brackets you need to have those for it to work and then our text All right so our vertical offset say if we wanted it to go higher we can add a 10 on it and it'll go up if we want it to be lower we can add a negative 10 on it and now it's below the world and just to see what that looks like I'll turn no parse on and it's V offset equals negative 10 EM with our open and close brackets and then our text. So they're out of all the fonts and materials, there are only 10 separate combinations work. So in order for this script to uh, use them, you have to turn on use font material combo and then you have to just change this numbers. So let's just put a one in here. And now we have kind of like a drop shadow around the text in a different font. And if we go through two, it's the same font, but we don't have that shadow. It's just the outline. Now there are 10 separate ones. I'll go through them quick. Here's three. This is the logo one. And you can adjust the color. So if I were to change the color on here, so let's go down to color and I'll just put in red. And now it's, it's a different different look to it. Get rid of that. Four. 
And we have, it's our drop shadow with a different font. Five. Same font, but with just outline. Six. It's another font with the drop shadow. Seven. Same font, just outline. Eight. This one is Liberation Sand, I think it's called, and it has this metallic green material. Changing the color does affect it, but not in the way you would expect. So if I say put this to red, it actually kind of gives it a, a black. It's, it's not, you have to play with it to kind of get it to uh, do what you want it to do. And then we have nine which is another text with drop shadow, and I believe 10 is the same text with just an outline. Yeah, no, this one is surface. So you get the outline, but it's kind of darker, which can be nice because, you know, some of the texts are really bright, especially in darker worlds. So this might be a very good one to use. All right, so that's all the different font combos that I know of. Actually, just so I can show you what one looks like in code. Because th this these are a bit longer, so if I turn on no parse, so what it is is you have to set your font to the font type, and then you set your material to the font type dash the material, and then it's your your text. So let's turn off no parse, turn off that, clear that, and put on small caps. And what small caps is going to do is set all of your letters to capital, except for your your actual capital letters will be a little bit larger. And just to show you what that looks like, all it is is small caps and brackets. All right, we'll turn that off, turn on lowercase, and it just sets all your characters to lowercase. And that looks like this, just lowercase in brackets. Uppercase sets all your characters to uppercase, and it's just uppercase in brackets. Now, Mark is how we do the windows so we have this hexadecimal value over here you can find these on the internet just search hexadecimal for the color you want and you just got to input this value here so it's 58d962 i added the hashtag into the code so you don't actually have to add that and then when you hit enter now we have our highlight now the nice thing about this is like say if you were to set this to black or in any color you can create like pixel art with this especially if you uh, equally space them because then you can create a whole bunch of different designs and make it pixelated in order to make it look like a window we just have to add our alpha at the end so it would be the next two characters so say if we wanted it at 50 percent see through and now we can kind of see through it and in order to make it for a window we can get rid of our text and then we just add a tab, hit enter, and now we have this right here. And the nice thing is, you see how the bounding box, it's right up against the bounding box. So you can stretch this, and you can make it as long or wide as you want it to be. And then just to show you what the code looks like, let's go and type in, let's go turn on no parse. Oh, it's not actually gonna show me. So it's uh, mark equals that hexadecimal value and then our alpha in brackets. So as we can turn that off, turn off mark, and then we can play with M space, which is our equal spacing. So if I wanted it to be equal spacing between the characters, I can do, let's say a point, let's go point 0.5. And you see they're kind of on top of each other. So let's go one, and you can see how they have kind of like an equal spacing between the characters. And just to show you what that looks like, but if we look at the text up here, it's ms space equals one. Let me turn that off. We can zero out m space. And then I have a font index here, which you can set to go through all the different fonts. There's seven different fonts, so including zero, which is the default. So if we go to one, it is called bangers SDF, and it's just font equals bangers SDF. That's what it looks like. And if we go to two, this one is called Anton SDF. Three, 
This one is called Oswald Bold. Four is my favorite. This one is called Electronic Highway Sign, and it kind of gives that pixelated look to it. Five is our Liberation Sands, which is that skinny one. And then six is our last one, which is Roboto Bold. And that's what it looks like. We can adjust the size. So I'm just going to put this at four just so we have that. And then if we adjust our size to say, um, currently fixed font size is 10, but uh, you can adjust it smaller or larger. Let's go 15. And all that is, is let's put our size back in there. And you can look, size equals one. Our opacity is gonna be like how see-through it is. So we need to add a hashtag first and then go 50, enter. And it kind of makes it a little see-through and a little bit darker. And just to show you what that looks like, it's alpha equals hashtag 50. We clear that out and put in a color. Let's go green. And now we have a green text, and that looks like color equals green. You can use hexadecimal values. Also, uh, alignment, so the default alignment is center. So if we wanted it left aligned, we can type in left. And it'll be left aligned, and that looks like align equals left. You can also go to the right. And now it's aligned to the right. Clear that out. Line height is how high each line is. So if I wanted it to be a little bit larger, I could say go 0.1, point, I don't know, two, five maybe. And now it's a little bit larger. If I wanted it to be closer together, I can go 0.7, let's go 0.5. And now they're, all, yeah, they're all on top of each other now. So we're gonna get rid of that. Oh, and to show you what that looks like, it's just line dash height equals one. Character spacing is the space between each character. So if I want them to be farther apart from each other, I can put in a one, and now they're far apart. If I wanted them to be closer, I can go say zero is default, and then negative 0.9 maybe there. And now they're almost they're on top of each other, and that looks like C space equals the number. There are some other formattings that we can do. So let's get rid of our color. Let's get rid of our font index. We're going to scroll down. We have to manually type these in because they don't work very well in the script. So if we wanted bold, it would just be, we'll just put a B in brackets, and now it's bold. If we wanted it italicized, we just put an I in brackets. If we wanted it like a underline, we'll just put a U. If we want strike through, we just put an S. Um, if you wanted like subscript, so it, like if you if lower than the line, we we'll just go sub. Now it's gonna it does it to everything. So if we wanted to only work on this one, we'll have to close it. So we'll just add a close, put sub. Now we enter, now it's only on the top one. And then there's also superscript, so the complete opposite. And I'll just go S-U-P. And re -put, put my G back in there. Welcome is subscripted and God's Wrath Tutorials is superscripted. If you wanna add your own line, what you, what you can do is just add a BR. So BR is a line break, and that'll add a line between them. Um, the script automatically adds a BR at the end of each line, but if you want to space out more, then you can always add a BR if you want more lines, because I only have 10 in the script. Uh, for position, which will move just the line over, so we're gonna go POS equals 50 EM, we hit enter, and now that line is moved over that way. And you could also do it in the negative, which
which would bring it over that way. Uh, next is rotate. So if you wanted just to rotate that line, you could go rotate and then equals 50%. Close bracket. And now everything in the text is now rotated. And this is how I created my arched welcome sign in the kingdom. Uh, but I have it set every individual letter is rotated separately. All right, next is the sprites. So there's 15 emoji sprites. So if we just go open bracket sprite equals one, and then hit enter. Now we have a sprite emoji. And there's 15 of them, so zero, I don't know if zero works. Let's, let's see if zero works. Yes, and then let's see if 15 works. So it might be 16. Yes. 16? Maybe they added some? No. So there's 16 of them, 0 through 15, and they're different sprites. And they, they're they all emojis, and then there's some number ones. So it's called sprite equals, we got to put this in here, drop, cap, numbers and we're going to go we need a one of those and we need index equals let's put in zero and see what happens here zero so it goes zero through nine so they have different numbers so just let's uh, put in a separate number here so index equals five And now we have a five and it, there's a zero through nine for all those. And that is pretty much it for the standard text. However, there's a plenty of other things we can do. I showed you how to make a window. However, we can also use text as decoration, as art. And one idea is you can use it for stars. So like if you had a bunch of asterisks You know, you could add different spacings and such. I have a star generator. I don't, I don't have it on this character. But, um, and basically what it does is it places asterisks randomly in the text box with different line heights and character spacing and mono space. That way it looks random and then it's just up in the sky and it looks like you have a random randomly generated star field every every time you go into the world. However, you can also use asterisks or hashtags or whichever looks good as as leaves on a tree. So let's just get a couple more asterisks and then I'm going to set the color to green. Now we need to adjust line height so we'll just go Point 0.5. Let's go font index 4. There we go. And now, say if we wanted to make a tree quick, we can grab a cylinder, make that bigger, scale up a little bit. It's a trunk. It's not exactly what I had in mind. There we go. We got a tree trunk. Let's duplicate that and make a uh, branch. Now you can just take your text and slap it on your your tree. And now it looks like your tree has some leaves. That is a cheap way to make leaves. I mean, if you're hurrying for simulation and animation, it might not be the best way to do it because text gizmos do count towards that capacity. It's very useful, it can be used for many different things. I've seen some pretty crazy art with text. I've seen stuff as simple as this in Windows to some pretty more advanced stuff like actual pictures that they just pixelated 
with the text and made the pictures. There is a limit on how many characters you can have. I believe it's like a thousand characters and that includes your formatting. So if you have a lot of formatting, you won't be able to have that many characters in it. And if you uh, would like to use my Gosroth text script, please let me know in the comment section below and we can figure something out and I can, uh, I can get it to you. All right, so that is all I have for the text gizmo. If there's any uh, questions, comments, concerns about the video, or if you have a suggestion for a future video, please let me know in the comments section below. Also, if you learned anything or you thought it was a good video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified of all my future videos. I usually come out with videos on Monday. I know today is Tuesday, but real life stuff happened and uh, I had to get a world ready for an event, which actually went really well. Uh, Pinball Mayhem, it was, it was a good night. And uh, yeah, so, Thanks for watching and have a good one.